Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about mycotoxins. So what mycotoxins are, are mycotoxins are produced from mold. So they are toxins that are produced from mold called mycotoxins. And the various ways that we can get exposed to these mycotoxins is one is if we live in a house that has mold and it's usually unknowingly. But if your house has ever had any sort of water damage to it, there's potential that there's mold and there's potential that you're being exposed to mycotoxins. So you definitely want to explore this if you have some issues that just aren't clearing up. Another way that we can be exposed to mycotoxins is through our grains. So mold will grow on these grains when they're growing in the fields and then through processing and through storage of those grains, you may see some more mold uh, develop and you'll also see more mycotoxins. So it's not uncommon for grains to actually have a high amount of mycotoxins. The other way we can be exposed to mycotoxins is that corn also has a high susceptibility to having mycotoxins and mold. And another way that we're getting it is through our industrial meats. Our industrial meats uh, tend to be fed grains and corn and typically they're having grains or corn that are also industrial and tend to be contaminated with those mycotoxins. And if those animals are eating grains and corn that are contaminated with mycotoxins, then those mycotoxins get stored in their tissues and then when we consume them, then we consume a dose of those mycotoxins as well. Another way that we can be exposed to these mycotoxins are through peanuts. So peanuts are very mold producing and they tend to harbor those mycotoxins. So mycotoxins within the body can lead to a number of different vague symptoms like fatigue, dizziness, headaches, brain fog, irregular heartbeats, you can have skin rashes, muscle weakness, joint pain, sleep problems, eye irritation, hearing loss, vision changes. So there can be a number of different symptoms that can happen if you're exposed to mycotoxins. And mycotoxins tend to accumulate over time. Now, there's also a gene called HLA-DR gene. And if you have this gene, then you may be more susceptible to mycotoxicity within the body. Because when these foreign substances come into the body, the body will not recognize them as foreign substances and will not create that immune response to those foreign substances within the body. So there's also some genetic testing that we can do to see if you're more susceptible to getting uh, mycotoxicity within your system. And there's other factors as well because we wanna make sure that your body can uh, effectively detoxify these toxins as they come in the body. So if your detox pathways are limited or not working optimally, then this can also make it so that you're more susceptible to mycotoxicity within the body. And there is ways that we can see if you have high amounts of mycotoxins within the body. We run some tests where we can check for those mycotoxins and they're really just a simple urine test. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned more about mycotoxins and how they may be affecting your health. 
and I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.